Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hi, my name is Kelly and I am with LockerGnome.com and I am speaking with... Dr. Andrew Brandeis from iHealth Labs. And I just wanted to ask you a few questions today about your product, the iHealth, and where it's, what it's doing today and where it's going in the future of medical technology. So what exactly is the iHealth doing today? So iHealth just launched today. It's uh, the first blood pressure cuff to plug into an iOS device, iPhone, iPad, iPod. Um, and the thing that's really cool about it is any other blood pressure cuff out there takes your blood pressure and that's it. You might transcribe that information into an Excel spreadsheet. You might email it to somebody, but it, it just it doesn't do anything. The iHealth, what it allows you to do is take your blood pressure, but you can track it over time. You can graph it so you can see trends. You can see if the lifestyle improvements that you're making are actually helping. And when you get that positive visual feedback, you see your blood pressure going down over time. It allows you to um, be excited about making these changes and you kind of keep doing what you're doing. So it's positive reinforcement. It's really great. That is great. And what is the future of sharing information with others? I know um, one of your colleagues mentioned sharing that information on Facebook and Twitter. What is the future of that? Yeah, I think it's. I think any time you can engage your network in uh, a difficult lifestyle change that you're going to make, say if you're going to really cut back on salt, cut back on animal products, and start exercising, that's usually a big change for a lot of people, right? So your friends are inviting you out. I mean, your friends usually encourage unhealthy behavior, right? But if you're tweeting that you're doing a good job, you're likely to show other people and get them engaged in their health, but they'll also give you support. So, you know, I'm sorry I didn't go out with you guys last night, but look, my blood pressure's even lower this morning. So when you start getting that feedback from your, from your social network, I think it's really gonna help people to continue making the lifestyle changes that are important for health. Absolutely. Positive reinforcement can absolutely affect your entire community. And what do you think is the future of this product on the rest of the medical community? So you see this being the first of, a, of other products doing the same kind of thing? Yeah. This, this is just, I mean, the way I see that this is a doorway into a whole new ecosystem of personal healthcare monitoring. We're going to have blood glucose monitors, scales. Um, we're going to be able to glean new information from blood pressure. What I learned from myself was that if I take my blood pressure in the morning, it's one thing. If I drink a cup of coffee, it goes up. If I check my email, it goes up. If my mother calls me and starts yelling at me, my blood pressure goes up. I'm totally serious. I do some yoga, I meditate, I go for a walk, my blood pressure goes down. So I'm learning that different activities of daily living really, really affect my blood pressure. I think where the future is headed, when you start sharing that information with the cloud, even anonymously, and you start overlaying that with other data, we're going to learn um, new things from blood pressure. We're going to be able to use blood pressure to monitor other things. That is great. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you.